I'm TJ Cates with the Soda County Newsroom. We are going to talk about mortgages. You know, if you know anything about what's going on in the real estate market in North Mississippi right now, it's definitely a seller's market. There's other ways to get around that right now. One of them is to get pre-approved. I've got my guest here today. Uh, Kevin Carter with Apex Mortgages. And we're going to, we brought him in because he's an expert in the field of mortgages. And what he's doing right now is getting people pre-approved and also getting refinances if you've got a bunch of equity because the values are just going up in your neighborhood and you want to remodel your house and do anything different or just cash out and refinance. I think rates right now are below 2% as of today. We have to be careful with as of today. Well, I was going to say, yeah, and of course there's some variables in there, right. uh, credit and certain things that can affect that. But yeah, they are historically low. There's no question. We've never seen, I've been in the business for about 20 years and mm -hmm. I've never seen anything like it. So it's, uh, it's definitely a great great time to either purchase or refinance, absolutely. Now what I like about your company, you, Bo Stripling and Gary Anderson, is that you have a company that's locally owned and yes. that makes a difference because a lot of people were going to the internet to get pre-approved and not all buyers, not all sellers are accepting those approval letters. Now you're a locally owned company and the cool thing about all three of y'all is you'll answer your phone you know, all the time. All the time. You can text your mortgage lender. <laughs> we, we do and uh, you know I tell my, my clients that you know, it doesn't matter if it's a weekend, it doesn't matter if it's late at night. If you've got a question, if it's bothering you, you know, then reach out and I'll, I'll either answer right away or I'll get right back to you. So Now, myself as a home builder and remodeler, I like that rates are good and people are refinancing their house right now. But um, I have some customers that we're going to build for. It's uh, Jenny and Matthew Snyder. And the great thing about them, I was texting her at 630 this morning. She started texting with some questions. But um, what they're doing is they're return customers. And, man, I think that's such a, such a compliment to come back to Apex Mortgage after, I think, a decade or more. And they want to stay with you all because it's personal service. I, I think that really is the difference. Like you said, we're not one of the big companies that you're just dealing with an 800 number or uh, an e, uh, a web address or something like that. Um, we're always in the office. You know, yeah. every week we, we meet with customers all the time. We try to make it to all the closings. And, and I think we give that personal touch so that they always feel comfortable through the process because mm -hmm. it can be a little daunting for some people, especially if you're new to it. Yeah. But I think we, uh, by giving that personal service, it, we do have a lot of return business, yes. Let's talk about who you're getting most of the, the uh, loans for right now. Is it purchases? Is it refinances? Well, it's actually um, it's actually a nice mix. Uh, we, we offer quite a few different products for both um, but I think the the issue with the purchases right now is actually finding the homes right I think that's become a, a little bit of a difficulty that's what's made my home building business take off absolutely and we of course offer the, offer the construction to perm loans or permanent loans as well yeah. but I think the refinances are just because the rates are so low uh, people are looking to, mm -hmm. to save some money on their monthly bill and, and maybe pull out some cash like you said and you know remodel school tuitions whatever's mm -hmm. coming up so Okay, so let's talk about, we don't know how long this is going to last with the rates, but there's great ways that they can work and they can utilize their money. I want to talk about how they can utilize their money, like up to what percent of the value traditionally can they refinance up? Because that's a big question. Well, it is. Well, if you're going to pull cash out, it's going to only be 80% of, okay. of whatever the value of the home is. If you just want to do a refinance, then you can go up. Uh, to up in the mid 90s. Um, we have a couple of great products. If you already have an FHA loan or a VA loan, okay. we can do what's called a streamline. It's got some other names for it, but it basically is just a really quick way to, to refinance your home and get the new rate. We had some people I reached out and I wanted to get some questions called in to the show and that's actually what is the definition of a streamline? So the defini definition of a streamline is when you have an FHA or you have a VA loan and maybe you're at four or five percent because you haven't refinanced mm -hmm. recently, you want to take advantage of these new great low rates. And what's really interesting and what's great about it is that you don't have to have an appraisal. You don't have to have the income docs. It's a very quick loan. Uh, it's just based off of the value of your home, and it's based off of your payment history that, since you've had the home. Yeah. Uh, and we, we usually can close those in under two weeks. Wow, that's really quick. Yeah, really fast. And the values are going up, and I know a lot of it because there's not availability of homes. There's not a lot of inventory out there, and there's a lot of people that are trying to buy a house. And you can't really make an offer and take your time and go around and decide. I mean, I've seen it firsthand. When people find a house they want to buy, they'll go and write a contract. You can write full price and somebody else still gets it from you. It's, it's back in the 90s when I got into real estate, we used to do a lot of HUD homes. Downtown uh, 200 Jefferson, I think is where it was. And every Tuesday morning, we would have to bring our bids down there. And it didn't matter how much you're offering. It's like you subtract closing costs, repairs. It's the bottom line. And that's kind of what 
it seems like the seller's able to do right now. It is, and I, I think that's why a lot of people are looking maybe to refinance the home they're in because mm -hmm. then they can go and remodel it, turn it into that home that they maybe need to, you know, do an addition, build a garage, whatever they want to do. Yeah. So they're able to do that because the market is is difficult sometimes to, to find a new home. I have a customer that, or one of my bank presidents around town, and he does what they call a HELOC, where he can do a smaller loan and it's an interest only and they stretch that over 10 years and that's an option if you don't. You know, if you just need to be a few repairs and what we're doing is remodeling the kitchen, making it an open concept, you know, and putting in some cedar and, and painting the cabinets and things like that. So there's different areas that people can do when they have equity in the house. We did have another question. They said, what's the best way I can find out if I'm qualified without coming into an office because right now people are a little afraid to go in person to person. Absolutely, and we certainly understand that and respect uh, what's going on in the world right now. So, you know, we, we take a lot of phone calls. We do a lot of things over the internet, um, but the real first way to get started is to look at your credit and yeah. look at the history that you've provided so far. Mm -hmm. um, from that, we can have a pretty good understanding. Then there's a couple of things that we look at next, which is income docs and some other things, bank yeah. statements. From that, we can kind of get you pre-qualified, yeah. and then we can find out either how much you can spend on a new home or what your rate would be on either, but also through the refinance. I'm looking at my notes off camera, and the yeah. next question is exactly that. What's the easiest way to get pre-qualified? Because you can't just go look at houses until you're really qualified. What's the best way? Do you have like a contact number? Or something? I do. Um, my phone number is 615-981-4990, or you can reach me at kevin at myapexmg.com. And then we also have the website, which is myapexmg.com, that has an application, has lots of information on okay. there. So if they have other questions, they can certainly check it out there. What if they have blemishes, is what we used to call them, they have a blemish on their credit. Now, the good thing that I like about your company is it's not just that we can't do your loan, we can't do it, and there's so much business, they send them out the door. Some people have really hit some tight spaces, me too, during this COVID and the shutdown for 10 months. So there, it's affected like recent credit. But if you work on your credit, you can get it better. And the cool thing about it is you'll work with them for six months or more and help them get their credit up. Now, let's talk, do y'all call it credit coaching? We, if you did, yes. that would be a cool name. No, well, it, it would be a good name and maybe okay. we'll start calling it that. You don't have, just because you don't qualify today, we can work you towards that. And we do that all the time. I mean, we really do. We understand the situations that are going on. And so what we do is when we first look at the credit and we assess it, then the next thing we do is say, okay, okay, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, maybe you're not qualifying now, but we can do ABC. And in a few months, then we can start back and look at you getting qualified then. And, and we do that all the time, and we're glad to help with that, absolutely. I know, like myself, I'd come back and um, my credit cards, I took out seven credit cards, and that's what you end up buying groceries, paying the light bill. Sometimes you put them together and pay a car note. So a lot of people in the same boat, and there's debt to income, the DTI, yes. and that has to be reduced. And once that happens, then your credit score goes up, and then you can do a rescore. What exactly is a rescore? Did I just say what it was? Or? No, you did. You, 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 you said exactly what it right was. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. Well, you're, you're doing very well with it. Uh, the the rescore is is exactly kind of what it sounds like, and it's where we look at a credit report. We say, okay, you fix A, B, C. Then we're going to basically go back to the credit bureaus. We have three of them: Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, and we're going to rescore it based off of the activity that you've done in the previous months, based off of our suggestions. Okay. And then that'll give you a new credit score, and from that credit score, we can get you the home loan. And we already. We have a particular software program that tells us if you do ABC, this score is what you'll get. So it's not a not a guessing game. We just we let you know, and sometimes they can do it now. Sometimes they have to take a little time to get it finished. But either way, we work and stay with them as long as they need I us. I think you're doing great things. One more question. It's the last one on my list over here. Thanks for not reading them. Now let me read them. Give me a job because you're, you're doing all the talking. You're so smart. Credit karma and things like that. How accurate is that? Because mm. that, that's the that's kind of the noise most mortgage people make whenever you bring that up. Yeah, I, you know, I... It's, it's at least a month, if not two months behind. Okay. Uh, I, I, I tell people that it's certainly good to monitor your credit every month. Right. So you can look at some fraudulent activity, you can find things that aren't, that don't, that shouldn't be on there, and you can work to correct those on your own. Mm -hmm. But as far as the, these, these third party type places, they're not going to be accurate. To me, the, the quickest way to really get the best score is to go through your credit card that you already have. They'll have a Find Your FICO score okay, button on there, that. and that will tell you a pretty accurate score. That's more score. accurate. Much more accurate. It's kind of like Zillow versus, say, Realtor.com. 
Absolutely. Zillow may have a house out there, and, and this is something we ran into that sometimes they're advertising a house out there just to get some leads to a realtor. That house does not exist. Or these they're so old, so we, we tell people to go to Realtor.com because that's up to the minute. I think they update every two minutes, and you're saying Credit Karma versus your credit card. Now, I've seen that on my credit card mm -hmm. reports before, so that's that's more accurate. And it's, and it's going to be, um, they're going to do what's called a soft pull, so it's mm -hmm. not going to affect your credit when they look at it. Okay. They have... When 08, 09 happened, some laws changed, and one Good. of those was that, that they can look at your credit to monitor where you're at for their own purposes, okay. but also it allows you to, to look at your score without any sort of deductions to the, to the uh, overall score. Okay. Well, this sounds really good. I mean, you're so informative. Hmm. Hopefully, you'll come back and see us again soon. Now, you do have notes. He's, he's really detailed. I kind of <laughs> wing it because that's my personality. Is there anything that I did not cover that you want to cover to get the word out there to people? Well, I just think that, you know, a couple of things. Don't, you know, don't let it get overwhelming uh, when you start thinking about trying to go down this road. We're here to walk with you every bit of the way. We've got a really easy list to, of some things to get together. And from that, we'll take it from there and, and do all the work. So just give us a call. Shoot us an email, whatever you're comfortable with, and, and we'd be glad to help. In the body text, everybody, because this is on social media on the body text, I have other links and everything. And I've known Bo for like over 20 years. I've known you for a year. I've known Gary for years. And, man, I just, like I'm saying, to work with a local mortgage company that's not owned by some big bank that's nationwide to not be like a 1-800 and give me a mortgage And we're going to get the same rates. We're not, they're not going to beat us on the rates. That's so a great that, point. You know, that's something that I like to let yeah. everybody know. Just because, you know, we're locally owned, we we still going to offer the same rates that a bank or anybody else could. Because yep. you're a mortgage bro broker. Correct, exactly. So we're going to go out and find the best rate yeah. for you in your situation. Yes. Okay. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you for having me. It's been uh, my, my home building company, TJK's Home Builders, and I do refinances, or I, I'll do refinances, and I do remodels in home building, and to work with a bank like you, I mean, I, I just think it's really good. I mean, yeah, we've had a good uh, Even if we didn't have a good working relationship, I'd still have you on as a guest, because <laughs> I think the fact that you guys are down here in Olive Branch working so hard, and, and, and you're not stressed at all about the home market yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah we're not. I think we're tell. excited about it, and mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of opportunities, and I do want to make sure that we also add that we do, we're licensed in Mississippi and Tennessee. Yeah. So that's something if you see the show and you, well, I live in Shelby County, go ahead and give us a call too. Yeah, yeah. I think it's great. When I was selling in Nashville, I even had Bo close a loan for me in Nashville. Great. So it's really good that Tennessee line is, uh, it's almost getting non-existent right now with people coming over. And I don't know where everybody's coming from right now. I'm grateful that we're growing because yes. the more we grow with the population, the more great things that we're going to have in DeSoto County. Yeah, I, I went to South Haven High School, so I grew up here, and it's it's changed well, tenfold. I did too, I mean, a, long time ago. Yeah, a long time Our ago. Our school pictures are in black and white. That's how old it was. <laughs> That's what mine were too. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, thank you so much. So this has been TJ Cates with Soda County Newsroom. I appreciate you watching today with the housing market and the home inventory being so low and the housing market being so strong right now, the rates being so low right now. We just want everybody to be informed and I appreciate your time. I know you're having a busy day. We've been talking this morning and I'm so glad it worked worked out that you could come me in. Me too. Thanks for having Tell me. Tell everybody where to find you and connect with you and ask you any more questions. So again, it's my phone number 615-981-4990 or it's Kevin at myapexmg.com or you can go straight to the to the website which is myapexmg.com. Thank you so much and if you'd like to be in our studio here at Soda County Newsroom, we'd appreciate it. If you reached out to us and tell us what your company is, and if you're a local company, we love local companies and we always want to support that. Thank you so much. It's been TJ Cates. Mm -hmm.